hello fellow biblical grads, and early biblical grads particularly. Uh, Tom Skinner has asked me to uh, uh, say a few words about my memories from the early years at Biblical. As it happens, my memory was ne has never been very good and uh, hasn't gotten any better since I've gotten older. <clears throat> I turned 80 in April 2nd. I remember Tom Taylor always had very vivid memories. I thought, uh, in fact, he had some features that uh, hadn't really occurred, but dramatized his memories. And my memories were always rather dull. <clears throat> but Tom has asked me to say something about uh, my years living on the second floor at the uh, Biblical Seminary and uh, say something about a few of the characters there. <clears throat> well, the best place to get pictures of the early years is the 1979 Biblical Yearbook, which uh, looks kind of like this. Huh? One of my memories is my office bedroom. I had a, uh, it was at the end of the dorm hall, second floor. Uh, the uh, uh, front room of it was my office and the back room of it was my bed. All of us in the dorm uh, had a restroom right there. And uh, <clears throat> then, however, for showers, we had to go down to the basement, uh, which occasionally produced some embarrassing uh, moments. <clears throat> one student, who I will not name here, uh, came to class in pajamas one time, and uh, the professor, I think it was uh, Dr. Cohen, promptly sent him back. Uh, two uh, features I remember rather vividly from the early years is my weight loss contests with Joe Basil. Uh, we would uh, set him up so they uh, went over the weekend, and uh, <clears throat> he would always get ahead of me as the weekend approached, uh, but then he went home and ran into the cooking of his uh, uh, future wife, uh, Pat. And uh, so he always came back having picked up some weight and uh, I won each one of the contests. Another memory is that I'm not a person who likes chicken uh, at all well. And uh, early on, uh, we uh, the dorm had uh, a, a cook who uh, uh, cooked uh, dinner for us and uh, <clears throat> Wayne Davidson and I, he didn't like chicken either, would go out for pizza on the nights when the dinner menu was chicken. <clears throat> Another memory uh, from the uh, dorm is that uh, eventually they put a sign men on the entrance to the dorm. <clears throat> and indeed, there's a men's restroom there in the dorm. But I used to say then that uh, <clears throat> with that in name men on the uh, entrance to the dorm, we had, I think, the uh, the biggest men's room in the state of Pennsylvania. <clears throat> uh, I was asked to say something about Trinity House. Uh, Trinity House wasn't so, uh, started till uh, 1982 when the dorm was closed at uh, Biblical. And uh, we typically had myself and seven students uh, in there in the early years. Occasionally, uh, somebody for short term would come in for an H and uh, uh, it didn't always fill the uh, place, so uh, uh, we had, I think, uh, just under a hundred long-term and short-term residents over the uh, uh, years, uh, about 24 years, uh, from 1982 uh, to the uh, uh, spring of 2006. Under the uh, uh, inspiration of Jack Grace, uh, the residents, regular residents for the 1990 and 1991 uh, school year, uh, made a portrait of themselves and then did it again the next year. So I have those two pictures here in my room and uh, they have seven students in each of those. Uh, I was asked to say something about early faculty meetings and payroll difficulties. Uh, Dr. McRae shared uh, the faculty in the early years up until his retirement, I believe, maybe not quite that long. And he didn't like to keep minutes, but later Bob Dunsweiler began to keep minutes anyway because he felt it was important to know what was, had been decided and what hadn't, et cetera. That's about what I remember, and I think I've run over my time anyway, so we better stop there. <clears throat>